Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new, hi my name's Donna, thank you very much for tuning into this video. I have a Timu haul, addicted to Timu, yes I am, um, so I've got some more bargains to show you. Um, I did actually have to send some stuff back from my last haul, um, I ordered a bag that was faulty and if you watch my last Timu haul you will know that there were some bits that weren't great. Um, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to do a return. Never done one before. I had five things to go back and oh my days, I did the return and they said, don't worry about sending the stuff back. We'll refund you straight away to, I like to have it put into um, my paper, uh, my Vinted account. So it's there ready to spend. Um, and they said, keep the items, either donate them, keep them, you know. I was like, wow. Um, so I thought that was really good. I don't know if they do that every time. I very much doubt it. But for that time, yeah, they were like, don't bother sending it back. Brilliant. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I did. I just donated the bits off. A couple of bits did actually go to a charity shop. Um, and then, um, yeah. Anyway, so I've got a Timu haul. <clears throat> uh, random bits again. Um, just all like looks and little, little bits. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to show you what I've got. I just want to give an update on this necklace because I got this from my last Timu haul. Um, and it's just, it's a stainless steel. I don't know if it's going to pick it up. It's like a multicolored chain. I've had it on ever since I did that Timu haul. So <clears throat> it's got to be three, four weeks ago. And it's not made my neck go green. It's not tarnished in any way. It's not lost its colour. Brilliant. Um, I don't wear the bracelet as much because um, it was just a bit big on me. So, um, yeah, so I haven't worn that as much. I've worn it a couple times, but this has been on ever since I got it and I haven't taken it off. Um, but, yeah, brilliant. And it was literally a couple pound. Um, because I know some of their um, costume jewellery can go green if you wear it constant, which is, I like to wear things constant. I can't be bothered with changing things around. <clears throat> Same with my rings. I have a ring on every finger. If I take these rings off to have a bath or to go to bed, I will forget 100% to put them back on and then I won't wear them for days. Um, so... I always buy sterling silver and my jewellery stays on all the time. So, anyway, let's get into the haul. Let me show you what I got. <clears throat> I've got a few items of clothes, not much, um, but I will do that at the end. So, we'll just go through. So, this is my little, little bag of goodies. So, I'm just going to open... So I'll just put the clothes stuff to one side first. Um, oh, I might it go there. Yes, it will go there. Right, so let's just pulling out. First item is a makeup bag. Now, I haven't bought it as a makeup bag as such. Um, my sister gave me a really good idea. Now, I have in my handbag so many bits floating around. And I always like a bag with loads and loads of pockets so I can keep things separate. Um, so, a couple bags that I've got where it's only one big compartment, I don't tend to use because I hate having to rummage and look for things. I like to know where things are. And my sister said, I gave her... A makeup bag, which was from Timu or Sheen, can't remember. And it had a sister's quote on it. She uses hers in her handbag. And she puts all her little odds and sods, um, like makeup, little perfumes, mints, whatever little bits you've got floating around in your bag, she keeps in here. So if she needs anything like that, she knows, pull this out, that is where it is. Bloody good idea. Bloody good idea. So I thought I would, uh, yeah. <clears throat> do what she's done now mine isn't as big as hers but my bags aren't as big as hers oh it's nicely padded on the inside um and it's just a little bag like that 
And, um, and yeah, it is literally just to put all my little odds and sods in and in my handbag it will go. So it's got that weird fishy smell. Why do some things smell fishy? Do they? Um, so this little makeup bag cost me £1.22, but I really like it. I really like it. So, yep, yeah, first item is good. I'll put it there. Uh, little thing here is a keyring. Um, I don't, well, I do put keyrings on my handbags. Um, so I do have the old keyring. I just love the fact that this was a pink candy skull as such. Is it a candy skull or is it just a normal skull? Are they only classed as candy skulls when they're, um, they look like candy? I don't know. But to me, that's a candy skull. Um, and yeah, I just really liked it. And it was dirt cheap. Um, it was Keering 89p. So, uh, yeah, I will definitely find somewhere for that to go. So, yeah, I really like that. So that is cool. Next item is a set of three Tupperware pots. They wrapped it well. Right. So this is the pots. So you've obviously, or not obviously, but um, so you've got this size one, uh, which is the largest one. And it's like, uh, it's got specks through it. So it's pink, but with like grey specks. I don't know how well it's going to show it up. Um, how do I get the lids out? Oh, there they are. Right, so, so put the right way on. And then that's the lid. And it's got a little air vent, so I'm assuming... Maybe it can go in the microwave. Does it say microwave or safe? Uh, yes, they can go in the dishwasher. Uh, not dishwasher, microwave. Um, so, yeah, the microwave safe. Um, so, that is that size. Then you get that size. And then last but not least, you get that one. Now, I think they're awesome. I love things like this, especially for, like, putting things in the fridge, um, pat lunch ideas. Um, like, if you want to take a salad or something to work. Um, I'm trying to think how this one went. Um, no, don't come off. Don't come off. I don't think how you went. Did you go like that? No, you didn't go like that. Oh, did, no, you didn't go like that. Uh, oh, lordy. I should have looked as I took it apart. Oh, anyway. That is my pack of three bowls. Putting all my rubbish down there. Um... <clears throat> Oh, I didn't tell you the price. £1.10p. Wow. Super duper happy with that. Clothing item. Ooh. What would you be? Oh, no. Don't break my pearl. I don't even know. Like, oh. No, that's not working. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Never find something when you want it. So annoying. Ah, there we are. That'll do. Right. Oh, this is a little box. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while. <clears throat> You will know that I live very close to the sea, as in like five minute walk to the sea. And one of my hobbies is collecting shells. Cowries, little tiny cowrie shells in particular. And I thought, well, it's getting to the stage where I've got all these shells, because I get other ones as well that I think are really pretty. 
what am I going to do with all these shells? So I saw this on there, and because it is a blank canvas, this sweet little box, I thought I might try and uh, goes that way. I might try and um, do a bit of DIY, you know, decorate it with some shells and sea glass that I've got. Um, so it is literally just an empty little box, but I thought, yeah. I might have an afternoon of trying to decorate this with my shells and my sea glass. <clears throat> this little box cost me one uh one oh seven, so one pound seven p was the price of the little box. Uh da -da 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 makeup bag boxes. Oh I've done I am Ticking off as I go. So that can go there. Right, wrist support. Um, I suffer with tendonitis in my wrists. Um, I get a lot of pain and discomfort here. And it tends to go here. Um, and down, it radiates down here too. Um, I did have one of these in blue. And the last flare-up I had, could I find it? No. So, I thought I'd order another one. Now, this one apparently has got copper in it, which is supposed to help. Um, now, I'm sort of wishing I got the medium now. Because I went by what other people had said. Because that's not really doing much. Um, see, it's quite baggy. So, I've not got really any support there at all. Um, so, I think I might have to go back on and order the medium. See, it's typical because it fits me here perfect. But yeah, where the, th you know, this part where I want the support is, um, yeah, is a bit loose. So, uh, yeah, not sure about that. Uh, this one cost wrist support 79p. So cheap. Um, and it's weird. Occasionally I can get it in this hand, but it is normally always just this one. Um, so I will definitely go back on and order that one again but in the size medium. Um, like I said, I was just following other people. Now, I'm a kid at heart. I used to love things like this when I was a kid. I saw it on there and how cheap it was, and I thought, do you know what? I'm going to have a go. Now, I don't actually know. Oh, end. Ah, oh, start. So, if you have a look, it's one of these balance board things. So, you've got a start here and you end here. There's a little ball in there, as you can see it's moving, and basically you tilt it. There used to be one, um, I used to have this in a wooden version made, but that one had holes in it to make it even harder. So if you went over the holes, obviously it would drop down and you'd have to start all over again. Um, like, yeah, a wooden maze. Um, so this one's that sort of thing, but there's no holes for it to drop down. Um, but still, um, this one was £1.56. So uh, they only, obviously, it's, it's kids. So they only had, obviously, you know, kiddie pictures in it. But I just thought, sometimes I just want to sit there and, you know, have a little play with, you know, as you do. One pound. Uh, what did I say it was? One pound 56. So let's cross you off. So that one can go there. Right. Wow, this is absolutely tiny, but you do, you get what you pay for sometimes. Um, I didn't obviously read the instructions and see how small it is. I'm not going to bother get it out because it's all in tiny weeny pic. Oh, I, I'll just quickly show you. Um, it is basically, a. it's another sort of balance game, I think. Um, so you've got, if I just take a bit of paper out. Oh, let's just take, it's all, um. Oh my god. So um yeah, so this is your stand, which comes with a base and a little stick. Um, and basically you have to put all of your little monkeys on the stand without it tipping. Now the stand obviously it balances, and I think you gotta see how many you can get on before it tips. Um, or even you know, the goal is to get all of them on there before it tips and they'll fall off. Um, this was super duper cheap. This was 93p. But it's like things like going away on holiday and things like that. Little games like this 
you know, just for when you're bored. Um, and it, I just love pocket games. Um, they don't take no storage. What are you? I don't know what you are. Something black and an extra large. Obviously a clothing item. Clothing item. Right. Box is a bit battered. Um, but it is a little binocular set. Well, not a set. It's a little... I can't remember what they call it now. I've just called it a binocular, but it's... Um, there is a name for it because it's only the one... Oh, it's got a little cleaning cloth with it. Um, monocular. Monocular. Yeah, monocular. Now, I was going to give it a little read because sometimes I find these foreign things, they make me laugh because they put random words in that don't really go. Um, so I'm just going to have a look. Firstly, using your left hand to hold the barrel of the monocular, you can see a round field of view. Then turn in the manual wheel of the ocular lens by your right hand for adjustment of the focus till your eye have a clear vision. Pay attention to the scale location under the manual wheel of the ocular lens. Under the common station in the following usage, only need to turn the scale location same as the first time. The monocular has a char char characteristic or rubber eye patch that can be turned down. The user who wears glasses can use this monocular after fold up the eye patch. The user who does not wear glasses can use the monocular directly. Uh, when cleaning the lens, please do use a special cotton flannel that, att that attached with the monocular. For removing the dirt or stain, please drop one or two drops of alcohol on the cotton flannel for cleaning. Please keep the monocular in a ventilator and dry place. Forbidden to clean the inner parts of the monocular or disassembly of the monocular. Do not allow using the monocular to watch the sun directly. Use the monocular to watch the sun. We'll causing incurable injury to human eyes. Random. I do like reading these little bits. Anyway, so this is my little monocular. Um, and as I said, because I live by the beach um, and there's always random boats out, yachts out, just, yeah, all sorts out in the sea, you get massive big boats that have got like cargo boats. Um, so, um, yeah, now it's 2,000 by 25. And, um, yeah, I'll have to have a play with it and see what, what's what. But, um, yeah, it was cheap. It was £2.43. So, uh, Rubbish. rubbish, rubbish, right, monkey game, done, microscope, done, oh, there it is, I was like, I ordered some new stats, isn't it, oh, here they are, Okay, so last few little bits to show you, and then I will get onto the clothes. Now, I thought I only ordered this once, but it's come twice, but it was only cheap. It apparently is stainless steel. It is a fidget ring, so a spinner, and it cost me all of 39p. Um, now, did I get them both the same size, or did I order different sizes, and that's why? Um, size 10... No, the base size 10, so it was obviously a mistake. Um, oh, I reckon it'll fit my thumb. It does. Fits my thumb perfectly. So, again, I'm going to keep this one on. I'm just going to see if it fits any of my other fingers a minute. Uh, is there another finger I want to try it on? Let's try it on that one. No, see, it's a bit big on that. Um... Right on my middle finger. No, it's too big on that one. So it is going to have to be a thumb ring. Definitely a thumb ring. But yeah, just sit there and spin, spin, spin away. 
yeah, I like. So I'm going to keep that one on. And with it being stainless steel, it shouldn't tarnish. But it is only 39p. So if it does, it does. Um, but yeah, so I've got a spare one in case it does tarnish. Um, but yeah, 39p, absolute bargain. Bargain. Um, and then the next thing I got was just some no studs. Um, my daughter asked for one. Um, I need some because this is the only one I've got. Um, and I quite fancy going back to a stud. I get all my jewellery now from Timu and Sheen because it is so cheap. Um, if I buy it from shops, I always have to go for sterling silver. I cannot wear costume jewellery. Um, but all the ones I've got from Sheen and Timu that are stainless steel have been fine. Um, I think these are all, all the ones in my ears are from Timu or Sheen. Um, and yeah, they're stainless steel, titanium. Um, so this is the nose stud. So that is the hook that goes in your ear. But I just liked it again. It's that multicolour metal that I really like. But it's a little heart now. I don't know. There we go. Oh, I just had it then. Yeah, it's just a little heart. But it's the same multicolour as what my necklace is. And it matches my hair quite nicely too. So, um, yeah, the intention is to have that in my nose. And that was a pack of five. Um, and they cost me... 77p that is crazy 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 um so that is that and then last item which i've been meaning to get these for a while and i keep forgetting so i put them in my basket and i thought right next time i put an order in i'm gonna get some now occasionally i find when i rub my ears like this not all the time but occasionally See, they're not too bad today because I've had a shower. <laughs> uh, but sometimes if I play with my ears or rub them, I get like a... sounds horrible, but I get like a... I don't know. I don't know if it's like a cheesy smell. Um, but I just get a, a weird smell sometimes from my piercings. But I don't take them out very often. I really only take them out to change them. So, I stumbled across these. And what they are... They're ear piercing um, little sticks. So they're apparently a little bit tricky to use to start off with. But apparently once you've got the knack, um, it's a lot easier. So I'm going to try one and just see how easy it is. Because obviously... Yeah, see, these ones I've got from Timu, my little studs. Um, again, I love anything multicoloured, so it's like a mystic-y sort of... But yeah, anyway, I'm not here to show you that. Right, so this is my little stick. And I'm just going to see how... And it, it's in my ear, look. And you literally, I think... You just go through. Could have done with it being a bit bigger, really. Um, so, yeah, I've done that one. So, yeah, they go in my ear. Let's see if I can get it in again. Just make sure it wasn't just a fluke. There we go. See? It's right in there. And, um, yeah. So we will see if these work. Uh, because, like I say, I've never, ever cleaned them before. I think it's just dry skin. It's like now I've just took the back and there was a bit of, like, horrible skin, like, cruddy stuff on it. And, yeah, that's that smell. Um, so I suppose it's just a way of cleaning your ears maybe your piercings so we'll see if that does any different um but no i was just intrigued to see if it would work so um yeah so that is what that is right so that is all those little items now i've got some clothes to show you um so what am i going to start with 
first. Now, what I might do is put the... Um, see, it says I've got a swimming costume, but uh, actually, I'll just show you these first. I ordered some knickers. Now, the last lot of knickers in my last haul, saying that, I don't even know if my last haul's gone up yet. I'm a bit slow in the uploads. Um, but, um, yeah, I ordered them in a size extra large, which is a size 16, and they were a bit snug. And my sister thought they were really, really, really granny-ish. I love a big pants. I love pants to hold my belly in. That is just me. Um, so I saw these, and I thought these were quite funky. And these are in a size 18. So this is what they look like. They are skulls. So that was the front, that is the back. They have got a little bit of lace on them, so a little bit sexy. This was a pack of three. So this is the other one. I just think they're funky. Um, and then this is the other one, similar to the white one, but just black. So I'm going to try a pair on and we're going to see. Obviously, I'm not going to do this on camera i'll step to the side put them on let you see and see if it's a better size for me and also the other ones didn't come up as high as i thought they didn't really hold no see these don't see it's very deceiving see on the picture they look like they hold your belly in so they do yeah they do tuck in a little bit But yeah, these definitely fit me better than the uh, size 16s. So this is what they look like. But I was just expecting them to be a bit higher. Because um, they're only just holding me in. And after walking around a little bit, it will just fall down. And then, you know, but I like to hold it all in, tuck it in nice and tidy. Um, so yeah. So that is the pants. Those knickers were £3.49 for the pack of three. I really like them. So I'm going to see how I get on with them. If I like them a lot, I will order some more. Um, so I've got a swimming costume. So I might do that one first. I might do that first. Where is the swimming costume? Where are you? Oh, what is it? There is the swimming costume. Oh, no, it's not. That is leggings. So that is not a swimming costume. That is definitely a t-shirt. That is definitely a t-shirt. wow that's what spun me i wasn't expecting it to be this material oh oh my days oh my day days i am gonna try it on um it has got removable cups as you can see there's a little hole there so you can remove the cups out but i like to keep them in because i'm an average lady i have one boobie bigger than the other um, so I don't like anything that's not got any sort of pad in there because I just find it shows. Um, and it's just something I'm a little bit insecure about. I don't like it. Um, so a little bit of padding always helps. So I'm going to try this one on and see if it fits. I don't actually own a nice black swimming costume um, that fits me nice. Um, I've got, every, you know, I have got swimming costumes. I've got plenty, but they're all like multicoloured. And trying to get a beach cover up to go with cozies that are all multicolored. <sighs> right. Right, so this is it. It fits. Um, I would have preferred it to be a little bit lower in the booby section, but hey-ho. 
but it's this we'll see if i can show you in the light oh there you go you can see the material um it's all right and like I say, this will go with all sorts of cover-ups because it's black. So any colour cover-up, sarong, dressy thing, will go. This is the reason I wanted a plain black one. Um, yeah, happy, happy, happy. Right, so I'm going to put the clothes back on. Right, I'm just coming in to see. Hopefully, I'm not revealing anything. Um, I just want to ask, does anybody else put their bra on like this? That is how I put my bra on. Um, and when I went to have my get fitted for a bra and Anne Summers and she was trying to say that I was a 34 double D could, I could not get it to reach there was no way I was getting it to reach doing it this way um and it's how I always put them on um so um yeah I have stuck with the size that I like I don't buy 34s I've got a few 34 D's but I do like my 38 B's so uh anyway so yeah so leggings uh did i tell you the price oh, i didn't tell you the price of the swimming costume did i uh da, 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 da. three pound 34 that is a bargain right i'll cross that off in a minute so let me put these leggings on these are in an extra large Nice and high waisted. They're very thin, so they do show your nickel line because they are a very, very thin material. Um, let me just cross off the swimming costume. So these were leggings in a size 16, £2.29 were these. they're okay they fit nice um right next item uh this is just class oh wow i thought this was a split sleeve one um I'm sure when I looked at this, it had like a split sleeve effect, but it doesn't. So it is just an oversized, oh, it's just an oversized t-shirt. Really, the material that I like, I love this material that Sheen and Timu do. It's like a peachy feel um, t-shirt. Yeah, lovely. I like this. I would definitely keep this. This is lush. Uh, £2.99. I did get it in a size 18. Because I do like my tops baggy. I don't like anything restricting. Happy days. Like this t-shirt. So, yeah. This one is good. Uh, next. Now, I've got one of these style ones in like a vest style um i don't really reach for it a lot because i'm not over keen on how it fits so i thought i'd try it in a t-shirt um it's not quite as soft as the one i just tried on but it's still nice soft material again i got it in an 18 so i'm like yeah 
it does it fits like the other one awesome so um yeah i was born in the 80s so it just says 80s girl on it and uh yeah i used to have one of these stereos i used to have roller skates I used to listen to uh cassettes yeah i really like this i'll definitely get wear out of this 100 percent uh this one cost two pound 97 bargain love it um so very happy with that and then i've got one more thing from timu and then just to chuck in as a little extra um i bought a couple items from a shop um when i went out at the weekend so i thought i'd try them on here as well since it's a try on right this again is that nice fuzzy sort of material again i got it in a size 18 because I want it oversized. And it's just a skull t-shirt. So soft. I absolutely love, I love the material of these. It is so soft. So yeah, really, really nice. Like it. Now, so, uh, and this one was two pound 87 so this is a picture yeah i love it but it's that material it is heavenly i love it so much softer than cotton i don't actually know what the material is i'm gonna tap my tag because you up the top but yeah no i love this love 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 right so anyway um when i went out at the weekend we went to, where did we go? Perrinporth. And there was a little, there was a shop there. Um, and it sold a lot of like hippie style clothes. And yeah, three items caught my attention. Now, if you've watched me again for a while, you will know I love harem style trousers. I absolutely lovely, love these. They are awesome for in the summer. And these ones have pockets i don't think any of my ones from last summer had pockets i don't think any of them did so um yeah i love that so i'm gonna try these on i really need to crack on because i've got to go work soon and i've got one hell of a mess to tidy up um so yeah let's just take these ones off <coughs> i'm hoping these fit I will be ever so upset. Now, when you look at that size, look at that tiny little waistband. But they are one size fits all, apparently. Um, which are my other ones. My other ones are all the same. But it's just some of them, I like them to be quite long and baggy at the bottom where they're cuffed. Some of mine are a little bit short. And yeah, so I just want to see what these are like. And they fit. Yeah, they're fine in the leg. Right, I'm going to pan you down so you can see. And then I'll show you a close-up of the pattern. But I love these style of trousers. I absolutely love, love, love. How lovely are these? Oh, I'm definitely going to get some more of these. Wow, because they've got pockets. None of my other ones have pockets. And I love, I love that. Oh, my days. Oh, I'm in love. Definitely going back to get some more of these. 100%. I love them. Um, so, I don't know if I can... I'm trying to show you the pattern of them. Um, maybe if I... But yeah, I really like them. Really like them um these cost me 15 pound now they vary i've bought ones like this without the pockets obviously for a tenner and i've bought some that were 20 quid um they it varies different places sell them different prices these were 15 i was happy to pay 15 mainly for the fact because they got pockets but i obviously love the color palette as well um it's like purple it's a bit of gray black love absolutely love Right, 
Now I did get two tops, so th these trousers were 15. And I did get two tops. Now they're not gonna go with the trousers, so um, I will take the trousers off in a sec. This one was a bargain. And uh, I was actually out with my sister, actually. I think I mentioned my sister at the beginning. What did I mention her for? I mentioned her for... Oh, about the um, bag, makeup bag, going in a handbag. Same sister, Becky. I know you watch some of my videos, so I'm talking about you. She laughed at this, and she is also the sister that laughed at my last lot of pants I got. Um, in my last Timu haul, you will see I bought a pack of three knickers. I tried them on. Yeah, they weren't great. I didn't keep them. They've gone. But my sister, Becky, laughed her head off. And she was like, yeah, she just thought they were hideous, granny. And I was like, but I'm all about the comfort. So let's see what she makes. Or I'll see when she, if she watches this video, I'll find out what she thinks of the other ones that I've just bought because they have actually got a nice bit of lace on them, so they're not overly granny. But anyway, I keep going off track. I showed her this and she was just like, oh my God. Uh, yeah, she didn't like. See, I, I quite like it. I quite like it. Me and my sister have got completely different tastes. Um, she's a very, um, She's a girly girl. She wears, she always dresses up like a lady. Um, whereas, yeah, you, I don't think you'd ever see her out of the house wearing jogging bottoms and things like that. Whereas I'm just all about the comfort and I'm a little bit lazy. And yeah, I'm just not great at making an effort, really. I just like everything easy. But I really like this. Um, I don't know why they've had to make the ends so long um but it's only been roughly cut so i reckon i could probably make these really really long bits that little bit shorter um because yeah it just makes me feel like a witchy vibe like a witch's dress um so yeah i'll probably try and make these a little bit shorter but i love it i really like it and this was a bargain this was five pound that was it five pound so luckily it has been roughly cut there's no hemming done um i don't think no it has literally just been cut so um yeah i am gonna um yeah i'll just cut it a little bit and make it how i want it to be so this is this is this one. Oh, and i like the back detail as well i don't know if it's gonna the back detail crisscross is it yeah yeah so um yeah i like this last item and then i better have a mad tidy up uh again this is one size oh all these items are one sizes um so i literally bought them just hoping they would fit and again this one fits just like the other one see, ah see this one's better this one's not as long the uh, points aren't as long as the other one so this is i want this dress or i want the other one to be like this so i will have a go um see this one's be it's good that this one's not like it because this one has i don't know if you can tell it's been hemmed, so I won't be able to cut this one really anyway. But no, this one's perfect. And this one cost me £10. Um, oh, it's a little bit big under the old armpits. Um, yeah, it is actually. And you see me fat. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Hmm. I need bigger boobs to fill it. But then saying that, it's quite snug as it is. Um, 
anyway they had this lots of different random um patterns on the front i like the lotus flower oh i think it's a lotus flower i don't know is that a lotus flower it looks mm, yeah that's supposed to be a lotus flower but um i think it's a lotus flower i bought it thinking it was a lotus flower um but yeah it's just black and gray um yeah i like it and this one was 10 pound right i really have got to go wow this is a long video 45 minutes uh comment below if you've watched this from the beginning to the end would love to see would love to see and i promise i will comment back um any favorite items um what do you think of my knickers are my knickers granny pants um i'm just all about the comfort i like everything tucked in tidy i just like to be comfy um but yeah anyway really do have to shoot off thank you very much for watching this video if you enjoyed this video please give it a super duper thumbs up um and if you're not subscribed please subscribe to my channel um and i'll see you very soon in the next one thank you for watching guys bye